Meet J Kitty. She's a magical, multicolored, flying unicorn cat. You know, like the kind you have at home. She's also a network engineer. Network engineers are the people who make the internet work. But wait, have you ever stopped and wondered how does the internet work? When you watch a video on your tablet or stream a song on your phone, where does it come from? How does it get to you? And how can your phone download them without even being plugged into anything? Do the videos come from the moon? Does the music come from space? Maybe websites grow on trees and are handpicked by farmers. All that content must exist somewhere, right? But how does your phone and your computer know where it all is? When you stop and think about the internet, it almost seems like magic. In fact, though there's no magic involved, J Kitty saves her magic powers for more simple things like fighting crime. The truth is that all the movies, music, emails, texts, and websites are stored in big, big buildings full of special computers called servers. They're like normal computers, but larger, louder, and way more powerful. These buildings are called data centers, and they host sometimes thousands of servers and the boxes that connect them together. If you turn the lights off in a data center, these rows of flashing lights look like something from a spaceship in the future. There's a rumor that J Kitty gets her power from these glowing lights in the dark, but that's just a silly rumor. It's probably not real. Anyway, some network engineers specialize in physically connecting all these servers together and then connecting them to the internet. It takes a lot of planning, but it's really satisfying when it works. Okay, fine, but it's not like those servers are in your basement. How does your computer and your phone get to those servers? First, you need a local network of your own. Some network engineers specialize in connecting everything together in a school or a cafe or an office. Network engineers call these LANs, which stands for local area network. Don't worry, you don't need to be able to fly. J Kitty just likes to show off. Of course, nowadays LANs are made up of devices that connect with no wires at all. Wi-Fi engineers install access points. So you can walk around a big building and always stay connected without your signal getting interrupted. This takes a lot of careful and strategic planning because the weirdest things can interfere with Wi-Fi. Even a microwave can break a Wi-Fi signal. Some Wi-Fi networks are very basic, but behind the scenes, the best and most modern Wi-Fi networks are powered by artificial intelligence. These next-generation networks can keep track of everyone's signal strength, where people move to, and how it affects their speed. And if something goes wrong, the networks fix it automatically. Other network engineers connect your phone to a mobile network, so you can read websites and watch movies even when you're in the middle of a field. Some network engineers lay seriously long undersea cables that connect entire countries together. The ocean floor is full of these cables. Sharks really enjoy munching on them. And it doesn't stop there. Ever wondered what's at the other end of your internet connection? Your phone line goes to an internet provider, but what happens then? In fact, they connect to other internet providers who then connect to other internet providers. The internet is one really 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 big network. In a way, the internet is like a network of networks. When you connect to a website or a video, you basically break out of your network to go to your internet provider, who then goes to the next internet provider, and so on and so on. Your data goes through a lot of networks. As a result, it means that all of the billions of machines on the internet can all talk to each other. When you think of it like that, it's pretty mind-blowing. But wait, how do all these machines talk to each other? How does your internet provider know where all the websites and videos are? Here's the secret. You know how every house and building has an address that you can send mail to? Well, every single thing on the internet 
your computer, your phone, your game console, your TV, and even your fridge also has a special internet address. They're called IP addresses, which stands for Internet Protocol. They're just long numbers like this. Four numbers separated by dots, each between 0 and 255. Maybe you've even seen one before without knowing what it is. Network engineers do amazing things with IP addresses. First of all, they make sure your computer gets an address automatically. That's the easy bit. The tricky part is to get the network to learn where all the other IP addresses in the world are. That's billions of addresses. That's where routers come in. Routers are boxes that connect networks together and learn how to get to different IPs. Routers are the boxes that power the internet. Network engineers at your internet provider will use something called a routing protocol to get all their routers to talk to each other and automatically learn where everything is. Think of these protocols as like a special language that only routers can talk. They'll even influence the routers to decide which is the best way to get to everything. Imagine being inside an internet router and working out how to get to every website and every email address. When you control which way people get to different websites, it's like you control the internet. But wait, when you go to a website, you don't type an IP address. You type a website name, something like greatgoatvideos.com. You know, popular websites like that. How does that work? Behind the scenes, there's a big virtual address book full of website names and their IP addresses. It's called DNS, which stands for Domain Name System. There are DNS servers all over the world, which all work together to make sure you can visit any GOAT-based website whenever you like. And also other websites too, I guess. Some engineers specialize in running this big network of DNS servers and the servers themselves. But it doesn't stop there. Networks are constantly under attack from hackers and criminals. Sometimes your network will be deliberately attacked. Other times, criminals attack random networks just to see which ones they can get into. That's where network security engineers step in. These heroes wield a whole array of powerful tools to stop hackers in their tracks. For example, firewalls control what comes in and goes out of the network. Network security software can spot viruses, block bad websites, and stop an infected user from taking down the rest of the network by automatically isolating them. Security network engineers are the people who keep you safe when you're online. It takes a whole lot of work to stay one step ahead of the bad guys, but it's a great feeling when you know you've beaten them. And there's more! Some network engineers specialize in using code to automate everything. They combine their special network knowledge with some sweet programming knowledge to do things in the blink of an eye that it would take a human weeks to do. Network automation engineers have the power to configure 10,000 routers in a matter of seconds. Some of these engineers even write the software that runs the routers, firewalls, Wi-Fi, and artificial intelligence that keeps the internet ticking along. Writing code is one of the most creative and artistic things you can do in tech. Combine it with networking and you can do anything. There's so much going on behind the scenes of the internet. And here's the cool thing. None of it is a secret. It's in your power to learn and master every single bit of it. Whether you like getting out and about, being hands-on and building things, or if you like sitting in a cafe writing code, or if you like designing cool things, or even if you like the idea of being the protector and guardian of internet security. There are so many different, fun, important, and creative things you can do in networking. At Juniper Networks, we make these very same devices and the software that powers the internet. And we don't like to keep the knowledge to ourselves. That's why we've made a ton of free videos and books that will teach you all this and more. Even if you don't know much about tech, we'll take you on the journey. Start your journey today. 
go to juniper.net slash getting started website. We can't guarantee goat videos, but we can guarantee you'll master the internet.